Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome dear viewers. Lady Zainab rebukes Aisha for oppressing Ahlul Bayt. Unfortunately, there exists very little information on the role of Lady Zainab, peace be upon her, during the lifetime of her father, Imam Ali, peace be upon him. And during the imamate of her brother, Imam al Hassan, there are numerous reasons for this, particularly due to the fact that since Lady Zainab was known for her ultra piety and devotion to Allah, she was a lady who did not openly appear before society in order for them to take records of her actions. Rather, she would have been a lady who was concerned more with rectifying the affairs of women and showing herself largely to only an exclusive female population in order to preserve the sanctity of her hijab and modesty. One of the few examples which is preserved from the life of Lady Zainab during the duration of the imamate of her father, the commander of the faithful Imam Ali, peace be upon him, is one which actually features her having to deal with Aisha, the wife of the Prophet and a devout enemy of the household of Al-Muhammad after his martyrdom. Namely, it involves dealing with another female and hence confirms our hypothesis that she was largely concerned with appearing before only other women in addition to her relatives. Shaykh Al-Mufid reports in his book, The Battle of the Camel, during the Battle of the Camel, Aisha gathered children and bondmaids, gave them drums and ordered them to chant some poetic verses against Imam Ali, peace be upon him. When Um Salama, the Prophet's widow, was informed about this, she decided to go there and reproach Aisha and the gathering women. Lady Zaina, peace be upon her, asked to do this instead of Um Salama, since she knew these women very well. Hence, she disguised herself and her bondmaids and left towards these children and women. When she reached there, she noticed their vainness and futility. She then showed her reality to Aisha and said, It is not strange from you and your companion to help each other against Amir al muminin since it was both of you who helped each other against his brother. The Messenger of Allah, until you were reproached by the Holy Quran. Aisha felt ashamed and excused that these women had done this out of their ignorance. Through this tradition, we understand that like the rest of Al-Muhammad, who were concerned with enjoining the good and forbidding the evil, Lady Zainab was equally concerned with such tasks and would actively participate in them, particularly in matters concerning females. It also illustrates the courage of Lady Zainab, who was willing to challenge a woman who was not only her elder, but one who was arrogant due to her status as the widow of the Prophet and more importantly, a woman who was known for being willing to shed the blood of tens of thousands of Muslims solely to fulfill her desires in attempting to belittle the status of Imam Ali, peace be upon him.